welcome to today's session of uh, all of you close your eyes adok namaskar mudra let's start with three rounds of omkara
देवर्षीणाम च नारदः गंधर्वाणाम चित्ररथः सिद्धानाम कपिलो मुनिः मीनिंग अमॉंग्स ट्रीज आई एम द पीपल ट्री ऑफ द सेलेस्टियल सेजस आई एम नारद अमॉंग्स द गंधर्वास आई एम चित्र एंड अमॉंग्स द सिद्धास आई एम सेज कपिल सुप्रभातम सुस्वागतम इन दैट ट्वेंटी सिक्स वर्स ऑफ द टेंथ चैप्टर ऑफ द विभूत योगा कृष्ण भगवान इज ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग दोस डायमेंशंस विच आर एक्सेल्ड इन द मैनिफेस्टेशन अश्वत सर्वृक्षाण देवर्षीण च नारद गंधर्वाण चित्ररथ सिद्धा कपिलो मुनि कपिल मुनि सो among all the brookshas all the trees which is the tree in which there is maximum manifestation of divinity that is ashwatthama vriksha ashwatthama vriksha is the most famous because it stays there for hundreds of years and it gives shelter to all the number of entities there animals birds everything and therefore ashwatthama is ashwatthama vriksha among devarshis among the rushis among the devatas no so there are rajarshis maharshis all different rushis are there similarly rushis are the people who are continuously finding new or new or dimensions discovery they are the researchers no among the devatas also there are rushis they are called devarshis and among them narada narada all of you have heard you know he is a, a very interesting personality you know he brings about the changes he observes the changes that are happening he sees where is the deterioration and how to be remedy it he takes information to all the trimurtis from avishnu maheshwara and sees that the entire thing gets set you no know? and narada is a very interesting personality you know he is called the devarshi among all the rushis among the devatas narada is considered to be the manifest gandharvas <coughs> the devarshi devatas are all in the manomay kosha the gandharvas yakshas kinaras are all in the pranamay kosha as i said this physical world electromagnetic field then we have the biocosmic field that is the pranic field so in the pranic field there are entities just like we are all there as human beings as animals and others in the pranamay kosha also in the pranic world also there are the entities for us the dimensions of gandharvas kinaras yakshas and others among all the gandharvas the best is the chitraratha gandharvas are known for their musical excellence artistic endeavors and they have or the number of finest artistic fervors in this thing and chitraratha is considered to be the king he is considered to be the best so in chitraratha all the qualities of the gandharvas have manifested to the maximum extent that's why krishna is saying chitrarata among the gandharvas then siddha among the siddhas kapila kapila muni is the highest siddha siddha are the ones who have got siddhis the ashta siddhis and ma mahima garima prakam ya adi ashta siddhis no they are all got just like agasti muni here had all the ashta siddhis and harman in the higher dimension he had Similarly, Kapila also had a tremendous amount of siddhis, and therefore Kapila is considered to be the shrestha. Therefore, 
Krishna is enumerating those trees, then Devarshis, Gandharvas and Siddhas at different levels. At the physical level, Annamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha, Manomaya Kosha, Vignanamaya Kosha, how there are manifestations to greater and greater extent. And this is what we have to recognize. The whole idea is to see that we all manifest the divinity more and more in our life. The more we manifest, greater will be the happiness that we have, greater will be the health, greater will be the power, greater will be the knowledge and freedom that we have. And this is the one that comes up with the Daivi Sampad. Daivi Sampad and the Asuri Sampad are the two things, the vices and the goodness, good and the bad, both are there, you know? virtues and the vices. And we all have both, good and bad. What we should do, bad has to be removed and good has to be developed. That is, Daivi Sampad has to be developed, Asuri Sampad has to be reduced. Why we have to do that? Because if you allow the Asuri Sampad to continue, you will be having tremendous suffering, pain, misery, stressors, diseases, and you want to commit suicide. Such will be the degradation. You know? Whereas if you develop the good qualities, you have got better health, happiness, bliss, harmony, peace, love, and continuous growth to higher and higher bliss, higher and higher knowledge, higher and higher power. So we all have Asuri Sampath and Daivi Sampath. Asuri Sampath has to be developed. Why do you call them as good? All those qualities which help you to go towards the highest perfection. Daivi Sampath Vimokshaya, Nibandhaya Asuri Mata. Asuri Mata, those who have Asuri, they go down, getting bound, unstable. Whereas Daivi Sampath makes you free day by day, day by day. You go on developing your freedom to greater and greater extent. And therefore, the whole emphasis is you must develop your Daivi Sampath. Consciously we must grow. That needs a resolve that we all want to change. If I don't want to change, nobody can change me. Therefore, it is very essential that in yoga, the whole essence is that we should change. We should be continuously changing towards higher Daivi Sampath. Therefore, Krishna says, start looking at divinity everywhere. And where the divinity has manifested more and more, you start worshipping them. And that's how we can also grow in the encounter. And that is the wonderful verse that are coming up. So these are all the vibhutis. Vibhutis are the excellent manifestation of the divinity. And that is what he is describing through various shlokas that we have been seeing. So we will close this with the Shanti Mantra. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhira Sarve Santu Hira Good morning everyone. It is a, a very happy thing that we have Dr. Jyoti Nair, one of the senior naturopaths in the country, uh, principal of Swami Vivekananda Naturopathy College, Salem, with us today. We request you, Madam, to kindly hoist the flag.
बोलो भारत माता की वंदे 